Hi, Beth. Hi, Jill. Can you talk us through quickly the changes that have been made to the budget line options recently that you can select when you're setting up a new project page on ACVO RSR? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, first, I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay. Oh. And if you look, we're, we're now on a, a, one of our demo pages on a test server uh, for a project. Looks like a little star island there. Yep. And I'm going to go to the funding details page, which is where we store the budget for this project. And you'll see that uh, this project's budget has the, the uh, traditional standard items we've had in RSR since the beginning. Building material, employment, equipment, maintenance, management, and other. It's kind of a low budget project, you can see that. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things that we discovered people wanted uh, or needed was the ability to add their specific budget line items uh, specific to their project, some custom line items. So what we've done over here if I take you into the admin for this project, you'll see here are the budget items. And if I go down to where the other category is, the other item, you'll see there's now a text box. And this text box uh, allows us to enter uh, a custom label that will appear on the project page. So let's say our island um, also needs some grass seed. So I'm just going to enter grass seed and uh, that's our one euro item, it's not very expensive. And if I drop down here and save that, and I go back over here to the project page and refresh it, there are other has now become grass seed at one euro. There it is. Wow. And we found that people had the need for more than just one of these specific items. So if I come back over here and scroll back down, we're in the admin again, uh, and drop down the list, you'll see that there are three other items available for people to choose and add custom labels to. So if we're going to have grass on that island, you're also going to need lawn mowers to cut the grass. Oh, absolutely. And those are a little pricey, so we'll, we'll say those are 10 euros for those lawnmowers. Yes. And go back and save that. And coming back here and we refresh. And there's our lawnmowers. Oh yeah. Okay. Now these are custom to this project. Uh, they won't appear on any other project. Uh, these are definitely items to be used specifically on projects uh, for specific things that you don't find elsewhere. We also added um, some new standard items. If I go back here, we found a lot of people uh, also had line items for training and transportation. So we added those to the list of standard budget items that appear on all projects. Um, if we get enough demand, the partner team will be looking at other common items that show up on budgets and that this list will get a little bit longer as we find uh, enough projects using them to warrant adding them. Okay, but there's going to be a limit as I understand it too to how many new budget line items we want to add. Can you, can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, well, actually, we want to keep that list. Uh, we want to keep that list fairly, fairly small because you want to be able to make meaningful comparisons between projects and programs. And if we have a multiplicity, if we end up with a hundred different possibilities, then that lessens the ability to to compare uh, projects across budgets. Yeah. So we want to keep that list very controlled. Sure. So basically what we've got is more flexibility but still something that is uh, meaningful when you make comparisons between projects and programs. Exactly. You okay. got it. That's great. Thanks very much, Beth. Okay. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye.